Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new here. My name is Caitlin and this is always like my favorite but also least favorite video to film because it really puts into perspective how much crap we bought when we were at Disney World. Um, but we were doing our Walt Disney World haul from this most recent trip. So we actually got home yesterday. So we drove home from Disney, um, left on the 24th, got here on the 25th. But yeah, we were in Walt Disney World for two weeks in the middle to end of August, mostly just the middle of August. Um, so we went a little bit crazy, I will say. Um, we, if you missed actually, I guess, my announcement on Instagram, we actually joined DVC on this trip. So we're super, super excited about it. Um, but we definitely used the discount to our advantage, you know, like we were really like, okay, we're getting a discount. Like we wanted to get a bunch of stuff. I feel like going forward, we will never buy this much stuff again at one time, but it is what it is. You only live once. <laughs> whatever so without further ado here we go also i'm not gonna or i guess i i guess i am gonna do a little disclaimer obviously this was all purchased with our own money we are both working adults we very like we pick what we want to spend our money on and we like disney stuff so we buy disney stuff so i don't need comments about oh that's so much stuff blah 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 blah, blah. it's fine it is what it is this is what we bought. If you're here, you like this video. If you're not somebody who likes to like look at things or like see things that people purchase, don't know why you clicked on the video. See you later. I'll see you in the next one. Um, but yeah, here we are. Let's go. Okay, this is going to be in literally no particular order. My freaking camera battery is about to die. Dang it. One sec. Starting off, this is going to be in no particular order. I'm like so bad at like gathering everything together. Literally everything is thrown in bags and I'm just going to pull things and show you guys and I'm going to try and make this quick, but we all know this is probably not going to be quick. So here we go. Okay. First thing that we got, we ordered magic bands when we checked into our room. Um, so we each picked out magic bands and actually we each picked out Star Wars magic bands for this trip. Um, but I picked out the women of the galaxy magic band. So we have Padme, Rose and Hera on one side and then Ray, Leia, and Soka on the other. I love my magic band. And Austin got this one, the Jedi one. And it says, do or do not, there is no try. Star Wars, and then on this side is Yoda. Very cute. So those are the magic bands that we picked out, uh, magic band pluses that we picked out. I got two sets of ears on this trip. These ears I have wanted forever and I'm so happy I picked these up because I think I wore these almost every single day. But these are just the plain black Mickey ears. Very, very cute. Love them. They literally go with every outfit. Obsessed. Love them. They also say Mickey Mouse on the side. Love them. And then we also got these pump. Why did I not say that right? Pumpkin Mickey ears. Um, again, super cute. Actually, I'll try and say where I got everything if I can remember. These ones were from the Disney style store in Disney Springs and these ones I got, I think I got these in the world of Disney store in Disney Springs as well. So got both of those. <laughs> we also picked up one of these Halloween reusable bags. Definitely going to use these for my groceries, but it's very cute. It just has the happy Halloween with all the guys on it and it's on the same on both sides. And then Austin and I each got a hat this trip. So when we were at the golf course, we golfed um, at the beginning of this trip, which crazy, it doesn't even feel like that's the same trip. I can't, like it literally doesn't even feel like we golfed. <laughs> the last trip, it was so far away. But I got this little visor and it says Walt Disney World Golf. And again, this was from the Magnolia. I think it's called Magnolia, just Magnolia or Palm, Palm, Palm and Magnolia. I don't remember, but anyways visor love this i love a visor because my head gets really really hot so hats like trap the heat for me but the visor was perfect kept the sun off my face but also kept my hair up which i love or like kept my head out anyways and then austin got this one this is called an aussie hat which is kind of funny because we call them aussie but it's like one of those like kind of like brimmed hats you know but it's 
Titleist and then on the side it has Grumpy like smashing a golf club and everybody was asking Austin where he got this hat when we were in the parks. Um, so if you're interested, it's at the golf course. So got those hats. Um, okay. And then like random free <laughs> things. We got glow cubes. So Austin got a drink at 50s primetime cafe. Um, it was called dad's electric or electric bloom lemonade or something like that. But anyways, got a glow cube with that. And then I got when we were in the Victoria Falls, I believe, lounge in Animal Kingdom. It came with a little lotus flower glow cube, which is very, very cute. So got those. Always fun to get little glow cubes. Okay, on the last day, Austin went to the Pop gift shop. And I like to have pins to open at home because sometimes you just want a little bit more Disney magic when you're home. Um, so I'm going to save these to open them all, but we got some pin packs. So I got two of the Nightmare Before Christmas pin packs. I actually opened these while we were there as well. Um, I think I opened like, I think I opened four packs total, but anyways, got two more of those to open. So hopefully we get some ones we need. Also got two of the series two munchlings. I think these munchlings are so freaking cute. And we opened one of these packs already and we actually got two of like the four I think that we wanted. So these are just really cute and I wanted to like open more of them. So got two of those. And then we also picked up these little pins. Um, so this is for Austin's collection. It is Tiana and these like portraits pins are so, so beautiful. So Austin collects Princess and the Frog and Tiana. So he got that one and then I got, or he got me, the Rapunzel one and I freaking love her and I love getting Rapunzel pins that I don't have and now I'm like wait do I have her but no I don't I have the Merida one of this set yeah I have Merida so anyways love those one night we went to Joffrey's in downtown Disney or oh my gosh Disney Springs um and we went to like the actual like Joffrey's store and we picked up some bags of coffee because we love Joffrey's coffee and normally we order it online but we're like if we're here it's fine also, I should mention, or I did mention, I guess, we drove. So we were able to bring back more stuff. So that's why also we bought a little bit more. But anyways, okay, so we got some coffee. So we already opened this one this morning. But this one is the 100 blend. They had this in all the rooms. This is really good. We had it this morning. Very good. We also got the resort blend. Again, this is one that they have in all the rooms right now. We picked up this one, which is the Sea Witch Brew. And it says a bewitching brew with notes of caramelized sugar, vanilla, and dark chocolate. I feel like this is going to be so good. And this is a medium roast. And then we picked up two of the Jamaican Me Crazy. Um, what's it called? What do we? Shaken Jamaican. That's what that's what it's called. But it's called Jamaican Me Crazy. It has caramel vanilla and coffee liqueur flavor um and this again is a medium roast coffee but we got two bags of these because these are like our favorite when we're down there and then the last one we got from here was the california girl one which i love and this is smooth and smoky with caramel nuances and a clean finish and this is a dark roast coffee but yeah so those are the ones that we got there were six of them and then we also got a little coupon here for when we make a purchase online if we want to so love that sure we will use that now we're into let's do this bag oh this is the snacks bag so we went a little bit crazy on snacks when we were there at the end i think this was like our last day in the parks we went into the confectionery and we kind of went crazy and bought a bunch of snacks to bring home so we have one of the caramel popcorn and this is dark chocolate drizzle so this has peanut m&ms milk chocolate candies pretzels natural and artificial flavors but this looks so good it's like a caramel popcorn obviously with dark chocolate and all the things i said we got one bag of the snacks with character chocolate chip cookies and these feel like they're like a soft chocolate chip like a soft cookie you know so i'm excited about those these are the best trail mix that you can get on Disney property. These are the Chippendale Snack Company Crunchy Spicy Mix. We got two bags of these. I literally love these so much. I love them so much that I literally don't eat them because I'm like, I don't want to like use them. <laughs> and then we got 
one of the rainbow sticks character bite these are kind of like a chewy rainbow candy sour candy the sour gummy disney characters are like all little different characters lady at the cash said that these are her favorite she said they're very good so excited about those and then we got three bags if they want to come out we got three bags of the sour mini belts two of these are for austin's mom because she loves these um she's like these are the best sour belts that she can find and then we got one bag for ourselves so that's all the treats that we got plus we got and i took pictures of them um when we were in downtown or why do you say downtown disney when we were in disney springs the one night we went to gideon's and we got four of their cookies so we got the chocolate chip the triple chocolate um the cookie of the month with what which was the peanut butter dark brew cookie or cold brew cookie and then it's just like the peanut butter cookie um so we got those four we brought them home and they're frozen in our freezer already um and then we picked up two rice crispy treats and then we also picked up one caramel apple now i'll show you this stuff this is kind of like <laughs> free but it's not because we joined dbc um but when you joined dbc you got like a little like welcome package basically so it came with i think i showed this in one of the vlogs so i'll go quick but came with this cool disney vacation club backpack they gave us some riviera and skyliner stickers um we got another little backpack which is like a drawstring disney vacation club bag so we got a little pin for the villas at the disneyland hotel cute because those are like the most recent ones that just opened um again more stickers uh we got this really pretty it's like a foam print which is kind of cool of the riviera we got our show off your member pride disney vacation club member um magnets so we'll probably put these on our fridge maybe on the car probably not on the car because i don't want them to get ruined but and then we also got this one it says disney's riviera resort disney vacation club and it's a mini mickey donald and daisy in front of the riviera which we love so that was all a part of our little like dvc welcome package okay now again getting into random stuff so austin got two t-shirts on this trip and they're both halloween so he got this one first at the halloween party it's this white t-shirt it says happy halloween and this one just says Walt Disney World on the sleeve. Whoa, Jesus. Don't scare me. And then like two days later, we went to the Riviera and we were going through the gift shop. And then Austin saw this t-shirt, which is also a Halloween t-shirt. And he was like, I don't know if I should get it or not. And I was like, just get it. Who cares? So he got this one. So it's another Halloween shirt. It says happy Halloween. This one's so cute. It's like Mickey, Donald, Pluto, a cruise ship, which is kind of random, but kind of cool. Um, but on the side, the reason we were like, just get it is because it says Disney Vacation Club member and Austin like really wanted to get some merch so very cute so we got one regular one and then one DVC one and we always go during Halloween so he's gonna use that like crazy so so I was like who cares just get it okay so we played the dino games at Animal Kingdom and the first time we played we didn't win anything I don't think and then we went back a second day and we won two things or no maybe we won the first time we played and then that was it i think that's what it was i don't know i can't remember anyways here's what we won we won two this was the one i wanted the most like i wanted the big boy but i won the small one first so i was like okay well i'm gonna get the small one and then also won the big one so we got two of the little are these stegas uh triceratops that's what they're called but they're very cute and they look just like the triceratops spin um that's actually like in dino land so but yeah these are the cute little games they're five dollars or no, they're six dollars a ticket per play, um, and you don't win every time. But we won like for the two that we got, and then I ended up playing one more because I really wanted another one of the prizes, but I lost. So we ended up playing, paying what was that? Uh, twelve, six, seven, eight. We paid eighteen dollars for two of these, so not too bad. Um, okay, and then I got this shirt, which I freaking love, or it's a sweater which I love. This is this really cute Groot sweater and it says the adventurous Groot and then it has Groot there and then it says some little things about like what type of plant he is and then it says a blur of bite and bark. Cute and then it has rocket also on the side there but 
I love this sweater. It's like super oversized and then I got it a size up. Is that what it is? I got it one size up from my regular size so that it would fit even more oversized. So I love it. It's like super, super comfy. And we saw this first in the Creations gift shop in Epcot, but then we ended up buying it at World of Disney in Disney Springs. So you can find it at like any of the places. I feel like they have like the Marvel stuff. All right. So during the Halloween party, Austin got the little Donald Duck sipper. And this is so cute. So we got this from Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe, but I'm pretty sure you could actually get him at any point. I don't think you had to go to the party to get him because we ended up seeing him at the contemporary, like at the end of our trip. So anyways, this is Donald. He's very cute. Um, his little thing opens up back here and then the straw sticks out. The only thing is that he was $16, I believe. Um, but you had to buy a drink with him. So we ended up being like almost 20 bucks, which is kind of scummy because they don't say you need to buy a drink until you get up there and then they say you have to buy a drink with it. So that's kind of annoying. So anyway, he's still cute anyways. He'll be a cute little Christmas or Christmas Halloween decor. But Austin really wanted him. So he got him and I'm happy because Austin doesn't normally get a lot of stuff like when we go away and this trip he got like a good amount of stuff. I feel like he got just as much as I did. So it makes me feel good because normally I'm the one that gets like tons of stuff. But this one I feel like was pretty 50-50. Maybe I still got a little bit more, but anyways. Okay, also also wanted to find stuff to go on his desk for at work. So he got this cute little chopper and it's a cute little droid and you can turn him on and he talks and you can wind him up and then he kind of like goes. You can't really anyways he normally talks though too so he's very cute we love him little chopper and we got that at the droid depot um in galaxy's edge more shirts here okay um austin also got this fun sweater so this is a spirit jersey and this was from the halloween party so it's black on the top and then it has these purple spider webs all down the front um there's a cute little album emblem that's the castle and it says magic kingdom 2023 and then on the back for the spirit jersey it says mickey's not so scary halloween party very cute and again austin really liked this and he was like not gonna buy it and i was like just buy it just get it like we're gonna get it so i like went into the gift shop and bought it because i was like he's not gonna buy it for himself so i'm gonna buy it for him and he was very grateful but again, we go during Halloween all the time, so I'm like, we'll use it. And then Brandon and Heidi actually bought him this for his birthday, um, which is like a later birthday gift, but it's still nice that they got him some stuff. They didn't have to do that. Sorry, had to sneeze. <laughs> but they got him this little ringer tee, and it's like a light blue color. It says Walt Disney World Mickey, and it's thicker, so I don't think he would wear this in the parks necessarily, but it would just be nice to have at home i got two t-shirts so i got this one i wanted this one for a while and i'm glad i finally got it this is the epcot center figment shirt it has like tie-dye purple on it and i got this one two sizes up from my regular size you know how disney t-shirts are kind of funny and like sometimes they're super oversized just one size up and sometimes they're like not at all but anyways i got this one two sizes up so very very cute and then I got this one, which is another shirt that I've wanted for a really long time, and I'm glad I finally got it. And it's just this, like, gray shirt that says Walt Disney World. I think it says Where Dreams Come True. Yep. Where Dreams Come True. And I got this one size up from my normal size. I probably could have got it two sizes up, but Austin's like, it's going to be way too big. But I was like, I just want to oversize, you know? But anyways, I love it because it's, like, very, like, old school Disney on it. Like, it just has, like, all those, like, classic older characters. I love it. And Heidi pointed out to me that it has Br'er Rabbit on it, which is kind of cool because I feel like they don't have any merch anymore with Br'er Rabbit. All right, we're getting to the end here, people. Okay, um, ooh, this is a fun bag. This is an expensive bag, but this is a fun bag. Okay, so, ah, I knew I had more receipts somewhere. <laughs> Let's start with this first. So we were in Hollywood Studios on like our second day, I think. And I saw this necklace and I wanted this necklace for a while, but I was like, I don't know if I want it. Like, I don't know if I should get it or not, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end of the trip, Austin's like, if you want it, get it. So I got it. And this is a beautiful necklace. I'm literally obsessed. Oh, 
so good. So this is a Disney Parks Chris Lou necklace. And here it is. It says Walt Disney World in like a really cute font. And it's just like really dainty and cute. And if you guys recognize it all, like I have a necklace. It's a gold necklace that has the Fab, Fab Five on it. Um, and it's a Chris Lou necklace as well. Austin got it for me, I think like three years ago. Because it would have been during COVID. Because we got it sent here. But I think it was three years ago. And I love that necklace. It's so nice. But I was like, I want another one because I love the Chris Lou stuff. So I got this and I'm obsessed. I'm so excited to wear it. That way you can have a little piece of home at home, which is so fun. Okay, here's a bunch of pins that we got. So I'm just going to stick my hand in. Okay. Oh, wow. I forgot about these. So Austin was so sweet. And he tried to like surprise me at the, like, like during the middle of our trip with some pin boxes. And he didn't realize that I already had the pins that I wanted from these boxes. Um, so he was like, oh, you're like, you don't even like want them. But I'm like, no, I'll still like, I feel like I'll still open them and like them. But I probably will end up trading most of these. But either way, we ended up bringing them home because again, they're little ones that I can have at home to open up whenever I'm missing the parks. So we got two of the little, the little, the little, little mermaid, <laughs> the little mermaid boxes. And it's like her with all her sisters and then her dad and then her and flounder so these are very cute pins i love these pins like i said i already have i think they're up here can you see them they're right here can't really see them but i have those and then we ended up actually going to the character warehouse and um or no this wasn't character warehouse this was cast connection so Brandon was a cast member at the first half of while we were down there. So we were able to go to cast connections with him. So I got two pins while we were there and they're both really cute. So this is part of the Disney Darlings limited edition series. Um, but it is of Ariel and these literally like have come out this year. So I think it's pretty cool that we have them. Um, but it is Ariel in like her room and her pink dress. And it's like her in like a little chuby kind of art style. So I thought that one was cute. And then I got this one. Oh, and again, if you don't know, Cast Connections is like a discount store. So this pin was $8.99, which is still good because I feel like in the parks, what is it? It's $19.99. And then this one was $4.99 because this is from last year. But this is part of like the limited edition series. And this is Walt Disney World characters on parade. And on the front, it's like a medallion of Peter Pan. And then when you open it up, it's him on the float from the Festival of Fantasy, which is so cute. And I wanted this pin last year, but I didn't end up getting it. And now I got it. So love those. And they were super cheap. Um, okay. And then here's the other pins that we got. So these ones were for Austin. So this was from Brandon and Heidi from them for his birthday. So they got him one of this one. This one's a limited release Star Wars pin of c-3po and he says we're doomed which is very cute um they got him one of the disney 100 tiana pin which i love so pretty and also really like that pin and then also another one from this star wars limited release series um and it says i got your back and it's of yoda being carried by luke from one of the first movies and then i also have pins in here from when i opened up some mystery boxes so I'm not going to show that here because they're going to be in a different one. But just know that we bought like more of these Nightmare Before Christmas boxes. We bought one of the um, Munchlings boxes. And then Austin got a bunch of the Star Wars. Like it's like a black box. And then these are the ones that we bought. We honestly didn't buy that many like rack pins. This is funny. Um, so I got one from the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And I'm so mad because they didn't do a pin last year. And I'm just like, why wouldn't they do a pin? But they did a pin this year. So I got this one. Mickey's not so scary Halloween party and it's just Mickey as a ghost it's pin on pin which is really pretty and it says 2023 Magic Kingdom on it limited edition and then I got one of the Epcot food and wine festival we actually didn't do a lot of food and wine stuff this year we did like a couple things but nothing crazy but I still like to get a pin of it so this one is a limited release and this is of the family from Encanto and it just says Epcot International Food and Wine. And it's pin on pin. It's a screen printed pin, which I don't know. Some people don't like them. I, I think they look pretty. The only thing I get nervous about is that they're going to get scratched easier. Um, 
but that's okay. And then we also got one of these because I feel like we had to. This is a Disney Vacation Club member pin to celebrate that we are officially members. Very cute. And I think this one's pin on pin too. Yeah, Mickey is a pin on pin. Okay, and then Austin got this keychain. He's not going to put it on his actual keys because he feels like it's going to get messed up. But he's like, maybe I'll put it like in my car or something. But it's one of the ones that kind of looks like the hotel kind of uh, keychain, you know. But it says Disney Vacation Club member, little palm tree, established 1991. So that's cute. We're almost at the end, people. I'm sorry. And then Austin, I really feel like Austin got more stuff than me, which I'm very happy about but I really feel like he did, which is awesome. Also got this cool um, calendar for at work. So Brandon kind of suckered him into this one because Brandon wanted it and then Brandon was showing him it and Austin's like, I think I want that. But it's really cool. So it's like a really like long um, calendar and, or yeah, calendar. And it's a poster calendar, it says. So each month is a different poster of like shows or attractions at Walt Disney World. And then at the end of each month, you can actually like rip off, like there's like a perforation on it. You can rip off each of the different posters and then you could frame them and put them up or just like hang them somewhere. So I thought that was really sweet. So Austin's going to have this for at work. He's lucky because he can put stuff up at work. I'm not allowed to because obviously I work in like a sterile environment. Um, but yeah. Okay. We have three more things. So, oh, I don't. Sorry, camera cut off. That's how I know I'm being too long. Um, I don't know if Austin wants me to open this because it's like really packaged up, but we went to Galaxy's Edge. We went to Oga's Cantina and Austin finally got the Rancor Tooth um, beer flight. That's what it's called. And you get the Rancor Teeth to take home. So this is that in this box. I will um, maybe put a picture or something here of what it looks like. It's very cool. Austin's like not sure what he's going to do with it yet. Because he's like, I'm not going to pour beer into it all the time. Because one, he doesn't drink beer. And two, it's like, we really don't drink that much. So he was like, maybe I can put plants in it or something. Like the little teeth, you can put little plants in. Or just can be a display thing. So very cool. Love that. Glad Austin finally got it. Because we have the two other cups that you can get from Oga's. And so finally he got the last of his set. Last year, the weighted plush came out. And I was like, I want a weighted plush so bad. But all they had when I was there last year was like Mickey, Minnie, and I think they had Eeyore. And I just wasn't sold on any of them. So I was like, I'm not going to get one. I'm going to wait. This year, I knew we were driving down. So I'm like, okay, we're going to get a weighted plush. So I don't have to worry about it in a suitcase. And I really want one. So when we were at Animal Kingdom Lodge, the first night I saw this symbol one. And I was like, okay, I feel like I have to get it to commemorate our Animal Kingdom stay. And here he is. Cute little Simba. And his butt is all weighted. And you can like open up his back and take out the pouch. But... He is so sweet and cute and I love him so much and he's so cuddly. So I got him on like our second day or first day and Austin got very jealous and Austin wanted a way to push. So when we were in downtown or oh my gosh, when we were in Disney Springs, Austin saw this guy and he said, okay, I have to have him. <laughs> so it is Grogu as a weighted plush and I'm very jealous because he is very cute, but obviously we can share because we obviously share. <laughs> But here is Grogu and he's in his cute little outfit and he's got his big floppy ears and he is just like so cute. And again, his butt is all weighted in his back. But I love them. They're like so cute and cuddly and cozy and they are just like the best. Okay, I completely forgot. <laughs> Sorry, this is coming after I just finished the video. Um, the last thing that we actually got was the massive Mickey pumpkin and I I am not able to show you guys it in person, but I will put a video clip over right now. Um, but we got one of the massive Mickey pumpkins. This is one of the main things that we were like, we're driving so we can bring this back. Um, but this like is a really big Mickey pumpkin. It lights up, it glows. Um, we're gonna put it out for Halloween. We're gonna keep it inside, but like in a window, you know, um, just so nobody steals it, but we love it. We love our Mickey pumpkin. But yeah, that's the last thing we got, sorry. That is everything. That is our Disney haul. Um, Again, I feel like we got a lot of stuff, but we were using our discount and we were happy about it. And again, because we drove, I feel like we could get more things. So we took advantage. So that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. The vlogs are coming soon. I'm going to try and start editing them this week. We literally just got home yesterday. So like, I'm going to try my best to start like sorting through footage and kind of getting everything sorted and like 
organized and everything um and i'm gonna start editing them hopefully this weekend that comes up and then that way i can start getting them out to you guys as soon as possible because i know you guys are really excited for them um but yeah anyways thank you guys so much this was like such a magical trip i was so so happy this whole trip like it literally was like the best trip ever and it was just so fun so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog or the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Um, let me know what your favorite thing is that we got. Let me know maybe something that you got recently on your last trip. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.